So we have completed until that section. Now let's continue from the next one, which is shop by category. And in that section, we have images related to that category. And then these are links to that collections. Okay. That is very simple to do. And if we see the view of it in mobile, it turns into a slider, right? It turns into a slider. So you can see this, how it will look. It will be a slider or we can do without slider as well right so let's see how we can do that so first of all i will go in the editor and then as you can as you know we need the same headline like before so what you will do i'll click on add elements and then i'll go to the layout and take one column layout a section here right and then we need to make first of all go to the section and then make it the 1300 like before okay and also if we see those sections these sections have a padding of 20 and 50 20 and 50 was the padding so if i go here we can give it same 20 and 50 in the top and bottom and that's something like this and let's duplicate this headline and drag this under this one okay and this will be shop by category okay so i'll click come here control a control v so this is done now we have a uh, four images okay for four images we can take a slideshow or we can click on elements and then click take four columns instead okay and then i can go here and give some margin from top okay like 30 pixel and that will look good and now we need images and a headline to make them linked together as you can see all of them are linked so i will take i will save the image from here and go here and then i will come to that column click on add elements and then we'll go to the elements of image and drag an image into that column and go to general click on select image and add images and then upload that image and this image will be uploaded right so i'll click on it and click on done as you can see the image is there now we have a headline and for uh, with this what font chrome extension if we click this headline it is not showing so let's us inspect it with right click and see what is the font size used here so the font size is 24 pixel so if we go to this paragraph it is not 24 pixels so 24 pixel i think not used uh, so if i go here it is 26 so so we need 24 so let's click on add elements go to headline and then take a headline under the image and then go to general and let's make it h4 and this will be lashes and click on it and then we need to give this name lashes okay lashes and then we need to make this font family changed to poppins okay and this will be 24 and then we need to go to more setting and make it bold i think it is bold right it is bold and it is in the center first of all let's make this zero as i said always and also give some margin like 20 and now let's make it in the center so let's see how it looks so it looks good no problem with it now let's see how we can link those image and text we can do them individually or what we can do we can go to that particular column and then link that column to a collection so click collection click action should be go to url select url and then it should be a collection right which collection for lash or which page which product just choose them from the drop down whatever we want to link then click on select and that's how the linking will work or we can do this with multiple times i can click on the image go to general and then we can come to the click action and link it we can come to headline click action and link it so we need to do it twice if we are following that process but what i showed if we uh, follow this process we need to make it once now this design is completed right so now what we can do we can just copy paste the images here 
right and copy the headline as well and then we can just put the link here into that column to that particular collection right so we can uh, add the new image here new headline here right whatever you want uh, so for now we are just going to use the same images for all of them right because uh, we have added just one collection for example but you can add as many as you want so i am just duplicating them in the next column and also duplicating the headline in the next column and i will not link those column to the particular collection because you already i already showed you how you can do that so if i go to the there it is also perfect but one changes i will do for mobile is i will click this row and then i'll click columns per row should be two and here column spacing we can decrease it or we can make it 15 so this will be good if we take it as a consideration right so if i go here 50 if i go here it is also 50 so if i go to mobile uh, if i go to desktop and that is it okay so let's see uh the, this section is done now we have this section with three columns so if i see this in mobile let's see how it looks okay this is how it looks in mobile but in desktop it should look something like this with icons and uh, some free shipping 60 trust badge okay credibility okay so people can trust that they have a get free shipping and 60 days growth guarantee given and also easy and fast return so making this will be easier so let's click on this elements and now let's click on layouts and let's take three column layout straight away okay all right let's click on layout again and take three column here so we have taken three column then we have an icon and we have a uh, we have an headline right so let's see how we can make something similar so if i click on what font let's see what is the font size at 16 pixel like before and we have these images so i can copy those images save those images these are sbg icon so we can save them individually just like that and then save these images okay that will be good now for each column i will add a block okay i will add a block and inside those block i will add an image okay drag an image and also a paragraph which is 16 pixel i think right so let's copy it and drag this in under the end under and this is inside the block okay so for the image click on general click on select image and add an image so i'll upload all those together so we don't need to upload them one by one okay and this will upload it and then we can select them so as you can see it is uploaded and if we see which icon used, this icon is used so i could click on done and then we need to click on no and then we can just uh, make it 70 and for the paragraph this is the paragraph so let's copy it come here and then go to general control a control v and then go to styling and then i think we can make it semi bold that will look perfect now let's click this block and let's come here make it center align okay that, that this will look good and if i go to mobile let's see what is the for and then let's click on paragraph and let's also make it center align okay this will look good and now let's go to the desktop again and now click this block and let's duplicate it okay let's duplicate it again and drag it here and now let's click on it and change the elements from it so then we need uh, this 60 days growth so copy it and then copy paste here and then control a control v and then come here click on it and then it should be this icon so select it go and then just copy this from here and then come to this control a control v so fast and easy but one things we need to do as you can see these uh, this have a very small width so if i click on control shift s to save and publish then we can discuss what i mean by that about the width okay so let's see it in the live view live page and let's see how it looks so if i scroll down as you can see this is taking that place but in this example this is much narrow looks much narrow so how we can achieve it and first of all we need to click those heading and go to styling and 
then choose the black itself then click on copy style paste style paste style paste style and to make that smaller we need to come to general and then decrease the max width from here so let's decrease it to like 850 now click ctrl shift s to save and publish and this problem will be solved okay we know that because we are following the process what needs to be done so click on view live page and let's cross it if we scroll down and you will find that it is black and this has been reduced the width has been reduced so working perfectly now let's go back to the next section which is also an easier section with with slideshow okay but here we have this okay and then a button here and if you remember we have something similar layout here okay so we can what we can do we can just copy it and then we can just we can just copy it and then if you see if we see we have a page content or page outline in the left side okay and then we can just rename those for identification for example if i click that section i can come here and i can scroll down to the general tab of that section go to more setting and name it as a video testimonial so you can find this is the video testimonial section okay and this is the section with more okay so you can see there is the other sections we have in our website first section second section and this is the video testimonial section so now what we can do i can drag that under the very bottom section okay so it comes to the bottom now we what we need we need to change the text here okay control a control b then we need a button here where you can find that button the button is here okay just copy that button and then just drag it here and then delete that paragraph okay and for the button let's go here and just remove the margin then it will work perfectly see all the reviews see more result and sh it should be see all the reviews so i can come here and click on see all reviews then we have a this area which is already made in that particular section right uh, or you can, if you remember here so i can come with this block and duplicate it and then drag it drag it under this but where is the issue will happen is it will go to that area but if you see the mobile version of it let's see how it looks in mobile this how it looks and the button comes to the bottom okay so so let's make it something like this okay uh, that will be that there will be no issue so if i click that block there is some margin so i can remove it okay i can remove it and this will look good as well no problem with it okay uh, so if we see it is looking perfect now we need some slider with images with uh, with video reviews okay but these videos are playing in the uh, pop-ups but we will not make those pop-ups so if i click on these videos uh, if i click on inspect okay if i click on inspect of this video what we will find there is a image source for those okay so there is icons and image source and everything okay so how we can add those similar to this okay similar to this slide shows we have we can just need we just need to take some sliders but we don't need those steps so i'll delete those steps from here and then we click on elements and then we click on slideshow okay slideshow and then we'll drag slideshow okay here and then i need to click on the slideshow and then side five yes and then we can make it four okay and then we can give some like 20 and then uh, we can make uh, we can just click on add elements and then we can add video elements here and video can be added from youtube or video can be uploaded with html video so i'll drag html video and i'll copy paste them here so whatever video you will upload will be shown here without any issue 
so no problem so just we need to upload them so if i go to the next i can just duplicate this html video again and this will be perfect no problem and for that section let's uh, for that section okay so we have duplicated it so let's delete it okay and then come here that it is 1300 no problem and it is looking perfect and also um, also let's click this section and let's give bottom 50 and if we see this design is done but one things we need to do is buttons only for mobile will be in the bottom so if we see the design right now this how it will look which does not look good right so for the button you can duplicate it and drag this here okay under the button and for that we can click on styling and then give some margin okay give some margin so if i go back here and if we can click this button what we will do we will hide this and tablet and mobile and this will be hidden in desktop laptop and if i go to the mobile right now this how it will look okay button will be there which is looking good and for that let's click this slideshow and click this raw okay click this raw everything looks good but if the spacing is bit it is looking perfect the spacing is not an issue here and for this we can also decrease the padding from the top okay so video section is also added so now i'll click on ctrl shift s to publish the page so now we have another section which is numbers don't lie so making this section uh, will not be that much hard so let me show you how so first of all let's again click on add elements and then let's click a layout here okay and then we need to click that section and then go to general and click in 1300 and then click this heading and drag this under that column and then click this and click on copy then this control a control v and then what we need to do is these elements okay so how we'll make those first of all let's click on add elements and take three columns okay then click on styling and then click on margins okay and now we need to take blocks okay so light click on blocks and take it under a column then click on elements and scroll down uh scroll down a bit we'll find an option called countdown no 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 action called progress so click on the progress and take this okay okay so what we need to do is it is not supporting inside another row okay so, so to make uh, okay so about that let's add three column here okay three column here and click on elements and then we can just add a block inside it and then click on add elements and now we can go to the below and add a progress and scroll that into, into that block progress row okay so we can just click this progress box and then we can click this progress box and delete it okay click delete it delete it just left with one okay so it is already a raw and inside that raw we have a progress bar okay progress box that's good okay no problem so now let's work with it so we need what we need we need the bar and a number so the bar color will be that pink so i'll click this icon and copy the color code from here so click on this progress and color will be this no 
so okay so i think this is the color okay that is good and then the color and that is done now progress percentage will be increased to 98 90 whatever we want to give right and whatever size we want to give no problem then we need a paragraph right a headline or something like this one so let us duplicate it and drag this so the column is there okay so the column inside this column now let's go to styling and let's make it display flex okay and for this it is very large so let's let's uh, decrease the sizing to maybe 110 and weight should be slick as well right much much 10 okay slick much right like 10 okay that is good not bar it should be circle okay now it looks good and then um, uh, what you can do you can go to the headline and then remove the margin and then click this and then make it align items center and let's copy this from here and then come here and then go to he headline and control a control v and go to styling and let's make it left align and then make it margin left like 10 okay now it looks good right now whatever we have taken in the top we need to come to the row we need to come to the column we need to go to first of all let's check the mobile okay let's fix the mobile first before everything and let's make it 18 16 18 whatever looks perfect and for this progress bar also you can decrease the size to 90 for mobile okay uh, this will be good and now we can just increase to 17 okay that will look good i think yes that will look much much good and we can make it 90 this will not, there will be no issue now i can go to that raw okay initial raw and delete other column and then duplicate it two time okay now it will look perfect okay something like this now we have a headline in the top how you can add that so click this headline and drag this under here okay now okay now this is all good okay now i can copy that and then we'll copy control a control v okay and now if i required i can come here and give some margin and for the section uh, we can just keep 50 <coughs> bottom okay 50 bottom 50 bottom now if i click on ctrl shift s let's see how it looks so it should looks fine right so click on view live page and now it will be looks good okay pretty much similar to that but it can be much 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 slick like the progress can be much slick like seven right seven will be good and match perfectly seven will be good let's make it seven and let's decrease something increase something something like this right uh, this how it will work so Control shift s to publish it again so this section is also completed now we have another section which are just few influencers influencers who are working with them okay you can add them with slider we have covered the slider slider in the top so you can make it as a slider or these are single images right you can make it as a slider so that will work perfectly okay so this is the home page is all about okay the home page looks perfect and i will not add that section again because as i said this can be added with slider but the remaining sections that we had from the this top section to this number section collections and category sections uh, review section this is scrolling sections this tab section for collections this uh, logo scrolling sections and the hero sections and also the 
announcement bar section before the hero section everything is covered with mobile responsive so now we have completed the home page design of this web shopify website design tutorial masterclass and in the next video we'll start creating a product page template because the all the product pages have the similar looking design only based on the products information got changed so if we create a template custom template using pagefly then we can reuse it multiple time inside pagefly that will be very easy for us so in from the next video we are continue we'll continue from where we left we'll start making the product page so let's begin from the next video